Welcome back to I'd Have a Beer. As you remember Brandon from the snack video. I'm Brandon. And uh, we're going to drink some beer today. This is going to be a uh, boulevard themed episode. Uh, mostly boulevard, except what were the other two? Uh, two of them are Confluence, so Des Moines beers. Okay. Des Moines, Iowa. Are they IPAs? No. Iowa Pale Ales? <laughs> no. Okay. Our first one is uh, Boulevard's Jam Band. It's a berry ale. I mean, this is kind of a tasting, but we both have had this before. We actually had this on tap, didn't we? I did not. I, I, didn't I had other beers when we were there. I feel like I, I think I had uh, one of one of my flights was this. We visited Boulevard uh, sometime this summer. I think they might remember that. I, I did. I threw that in a video. I don't know who all saw that. I've never actually seen it in a glass. Let's drink out of the can. Pink. Yeah, that's what I remember it smelling like. Oh, here's to you. Sorry, you already drank, but <laughs> sweet. It tastes like it's made up like jelly in a beer or something. It's sweet, but it's sour too. It's like a. Is this considered a sour beer? I know it's called mm. berry ale, but it's close, but not quite. Blueberry, raspberry, and cherry. I think most sour beers are made in a slightly different way. I really like this. It's a good summer beer. It is really good. You guess all the fruit. I read all the fruit. Damn it. I just get raspberry. That's the big one I get. Yeah, I buy that. Not much cherry. A little bit of blueberry. That's just a little blueberry. It's it's just enough that you know that there's like more than just raspberry in there. It's not bad. Very very light. It's a very light one. And we'll score out of ten. It's a very easy drink. I'll probably say like a seven. I was, seven. I was thinking seven. It's a good start. It's a good seven. Our next one is Boulevard's Tropical Pale Ale with grapefruit and passion fruit. I do not like grapefruit. No? No. Then passion fruit. Hey, this will fruit? be fun then. Is passion fruit one of the ones that doesn't taste like anything? Yeah, I think so. Perfect. A lot of cans this time. Last time it was all bottles except for two. Yeah. We also have eight this time instead of the full ten. You be the judge um, if we should have more or less. Nine. Nine? Are you sure it's nine? He still can't pour, guys. What do you mean? Uh, if you recall last time, you pouring mates. Yeah. Uh, I say oh, that. Oh, there we go. There we go. He evened it out. I say that, and then if you watch the video back from the angle the camera's at, it looks like I have more at the start. I was there. His was definitely more full most of the time, but this time it's definitely yours is more full, so I'll give you credit. IPA time. Here's to you. Ooh, IPA second one in, huh? Citrusy. It's not bad. For being an IPA, I really like it. Oh, for an IPA, that's really good, actually. The bitterness is really far down. Uh -huh. Which is surprising because the fruit flavor is grapefruit, so. Well, yeah, the grape, grapefruit, <laughs> that bitter fruit. Yeah. The one that, like, you cut in half and they pour a bunch of sugar on it and they eat the sugar off of it and you throw the rest of the fruit away. <laughs> that one. <laughs> I buy that. That's actually pretty good. This would have been a good uh, first IPA for Nate. I think there's one left. You will have to have him try it because this is pretty decent. Very pleasant surprise. Very nice. Tropical, huh? Probably good another uh, summer beer. Not bad, not bad at all. I definitely taste grapefruit. What's your verdict? Out of 10, four. Yeah, solid four. I don't care for it, but I don't hate it. I'm gonna do a modified scale because I know I don't like IPAs normally. So for an IPA, this one's definitely a seven. But otherwise it's like- On the IPA scale. You otherwise know, otherwise it's like- Out of regular beer though. Probably like four. I, there's definitely other right. stuff I'd rather drink, but it's not right. bad. Okay. Space. What is this? Camper? Did that say camper? What does that say? I think so. Camper? Uh, read the box, maybe? I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> camper. Like. Space camper? Space camper. Brought to you by Call of Duty Space, where you camp. Uh, the box doesn't help. No, it says the same thing? Yeah, it says the same. We're gonna call it Space Camper. Don't worry, we got Google to save us. Space Camper Cosmic IPA. Cosmic IPA. Brought to you. Is this gonna get us high? 
it's gonna put us in orbit. <laughs> Juicy hop blast. Can't wait. Oh, the sound of a beer pouring is the best. I'm putting way too much in here. <laughs> Maybe for these ones. Yeah, we're getting, we're definitely getting like a three solid gulps out of these. That's a, that's it's good. A I like the color of this one. Beer it's color. Like bright yellow. I'm just gonna pass. It's gotta get a head on it. It is an IPA, folks. Don't even have to taste it. Here's two of you. That's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. It's also not very bitter. Not at all. Which is weird. It smells really hoppy. It's like the, it's like the Bud Light of IPAs. Is that an endorsement right there? Is, how is that even an IPA? Oh no, it's still an IPA. It's got a slight hint of it, but it's, it's pretty smooth. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. I fucks with it. So is that one better than the last one? Yes. Oh man. I would say so, yeah. On a scale of one to 10, to leave room for the other ones, I would probably put it at a six. That's your regular scale? On the regular scale. Oh man, this one's... Okay! <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> the price is But right. you didn't know you were back. Uh, so, we just did this bit twice now, and it didn't record, so let's try this. Third time's the charm. What do you rate? I don't even have it up here anymore. What do you rate the space camper at? Uh, it's definitely a three for me. Three I for you. There's better beer out there. Worse than the second one. Yes. Which I thought it was better for sure. And we looked up this new unit that I've never heard of. IBUs? It's International Bitterness Unit. It says more or less how bitter the beer is gonna be. Didn't know that was a thing. Don't know how they measure it. Give it a Google. It's interesting. Uh, the last two were pretty close in IBUs. Apparently they go up to about 120 is, is what you found. That's usually, that's what it looked like they maxed out at. Okay. I've had some that are pretty far up there. And for me after like 70, they stopped really representing, but. Representing like <laughs> it doesn't really get much worse past 70 for me, okay. but they're all just trash <laughs> <laughs> Got it Downhill. <laughs> this one is Boulevard's unfiltered wheat beer So this is gonna have shit in the bottom of the can. Is that what that means? Sometimes Sometimes I definitely wish they'd filter the beer, but it's fine. It's their staple beer basically is this the Bud Light of Boulevard beers? Yeah, I hate that every brewery feels the need to do that, but that's what this is. I mean... Well, bu Budweiser, not Bud Light. Oh, okay, so Budweiser. it's like a heavy. Cheers. Hopefully it's recording. <laughs> it's not bad. It's a pretty big change of pace from those IPAs. I think maybe I should have rinsed the glasses out. I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. I was getting some bitter. Bitterness in that one. It's just stuck on your tongue. Uh, I don't know that. It's, it might have a little bit of bitterness. I don't know. Getting bitter and getting sweet. It's kind of different for a wheat beer. Not bad. What would I rate that at? It's, re it's really good generic wheat beer. Like. It's definitely better than the last one. I put the last one at a seven. Why did I do that? No, a six. Did I say a six? You said six. Why did I put that so high? Apparently you liked it. I would put this- I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock that one back down to a five and I'll put this at a six. I know I could do like point whatever, but in order to, you know, like best to worst, I'm putting this one at a six and that other one at a five. <sighs> now that I've had it sit for a minute, what do you think? I'm trying to think what I need to do in relation to those IPAs, cause I would definitely drink this on a regular basis. I, I'd probably go seven. Okay, okay. It's not bad. Slightly better than Budweiser, to my description. 
No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not acceptable answer. No? A man drinks two kinds of... <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're not going there. Whoa, whoa. Three. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next we have Fool's Gold. Sorry. Fool's Capital Gold Golden Lager with chilies, lime, and sea salt gold. <sighs> Quite the combination there. By Confluence? Yes. From Iowa. Taking the boulevard break right now. Going to Iowa. Okay. Tall boy. Only beer I drink. Tall's. I'm gonna say I have had this one. It's been a while, but I'm interested in your reaction to it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he pours a little bit more. I, f I fucked up the first. I stopped and I was like, oh, that's half of what he had. So I just kept going. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> orange. I taste the orange. I get the lime out of it. I don't know. That's not bad. It's, it's interesting. Is that how you described it? Yeah. It's interesting. If you're gonna start listing all that random garbage on the can, it better have all that flavor. Get a little bit the of the chili? spice yeah. in, the, in the throat. That's wow. Okay. Okay. Fucking around, getting weird. All right. Yeah. Okay. Chili lime. Sure. Put it in a beer. Why not? Oh man, it's got a lot of the chili there. The middle of Iowa. Chili lime beer. You would have thought that would have came out of like Southern California or something. Hmm. Not not bad. Uh, scale of one to ten. I'll put it, I'll put it a 5.5. It's not as good as the last one, but it's definitely better than those IPAs, which I should have put lower. See, for me, that one is, it's completely out there. Uh, it's exactly what it says it is on the can. True, true, that's very true. It's a nine, it, it's outstanding, I think. Really? You're gonna put it in a nine? I like, if I'm gonna get craft beer, it better be something unique and worth trying. That is unique and worth trying. It's also one of those beers that you probably drink one and that's probably the only one that you have, but. I don't know, it's, it's only 4.9. Oh, you mean like. I'm, I'm just saying flavor. You could, you could only drink. That the flavor much doesn't it. blend with, with a lot of other gotcha. stuff. Gotcha. But. That's not bad. I mean, I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. So. So I'm happy with it. It's good. I, I enjoyed it. It was good. I liked it. Uh, this is another confluence. Gray's Lake Scottish Ale Nessie? Like, yeah, yeah. That's Loch Ness. Yeah. Yep. Like the Loch Ness Monster Nessie? Yep. Scottish Ale, Loch oh, Ness Monster. Interesting. Makes sense. It, that does make sense. Scottish Ale, huh? So is this gonna taste like ass? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it should not. Although, well, I don't like scotch either. No, this doesn't taste like scotch. I'm just saying, like, stuff that comes out of Scotland. I just, <laughs> I don't know if it's for me. I don't, I don't know what makes it a scotch ale. I don't know that. Uh, it's a very specific category that I know my dad likes. That's the only thing I can say about it. Okay. There's two, yeah. I don't really have any comparisons. Like, a really weak porter, maybe? It's not bad. Is it smoky? I guess. Is that the flavor? <laughs> I, I do kind of feel like I'm drinking barbecue. <laughs> I think it is smoky. I think it's the flavor that I can't put my finger on. I don't hate it. It's like something I wouldn't order, but it's not bad. Right, like if somebody was like, here, I don't want this, drink the rest of it, I would be totally fine drinking the rest of that. So I, I think with my scale, with it being like, Five is basically, I wouldn't be mad about getting it. Okay. And anything above five is like, I'd probably order it. I don't know, it'd probably be about six because it's it's definitely not bad, but it's not the type of beer that I don't really like. It's 5.9%, it's more than the last one. Um, <laughs> the important stuff. That's the important part, is how fucked up can I get? Can I get a Bud Light with some vodka in it? 
Uh, no, it's a Bud Light with tequila in it. The only way to drink tequila. Oh man, no, <laughs> no. There are so many better ways to drink tequila. <laughs> Can I get a Bud Light with tequila and a lime? <laughs> See, true. <laughs> See, see White Bread Studios in two months. That's some kind of bomb bomb drink. I don't know what we're gonna call it. What? You a Bud Light, you drop in the tequila shot with the lime or something. There's there's something there. There's something there. Something Titanic. Pick a Spanish country. <laughs> Not a bad plan. <laughs> Alternate universe, the Titanic hits a sand bar in Mexico. All the passengers get off and they get drunk on tequila. <laughs> Mexican Titanic. Um, it's at least a six, maybe higher. What did I put at a six? I put the, the wheat at you, a six. You put the IPA at a six and then you dropped it back down. So. I dropped it to a five. For me, a five is like, I, I'm like neutral about it, but above that, I'd be, I'd order it again. 5.5. Like five. I'm gonna say 5.5. 5. You might order it again? Yeah, I would, okay. I would drink this. I mean, I would drink all of this stuff. We've seen, <laughs> see previous video? <laughs> me drinking the angry bitch or whatever the fuck it was and not really, make, hey, it wasn't good, but like, I still drank it. <laughs> Boulevard's Imperial Sweet Stout, aged in bourbon barrels. Tell me about this one. I've never had it. I'm excited. Boulevard has a smokestack series mm. where they do specialty beers, usually barrel aged. They're almost always good. I'm all about the barrel aged. It's definitely a stout. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell from the pour. It's definitely a stout. Tasting room. You said it's a smokestack series? Yeah. So... Does it say it on there? Oh, it's Tasting Room is also their low volume. It says the release and the year. 11.9%. Holy shit. IBU, it's low. Oh, it's got IBUs on here. Yeah. Some breweries do that, some don't. Boulevard, fucking awesome. Definitely go to Kansas City and take the tour because that tour was pretty cool. Yeah. It's not like it's, it. it's not as big. I have never done the, the Budweiser tour. But it's not as big as Budweiser, but it's definitely, it's definitely really cool. Do a weekday tour, you can see the factory running. It wasn't running when we went on that's, Saturday. That's true, that's true. That would be cool to see it, bottled and, and all that shit. But yeah, it was definitely a, definitely a good tour and they give you some good stories and stuff, so. Here's to you, Boulevard. Ooh. I already like it. Oh. I, haven't, I haven't tasted it, I like it. What is that? This is, it's a 10. What is it? Look at that smell. At 12%, it barely counts as beer, but it it's fantastic. It's a little spicy. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I wait. don't know. Wait. I got a little spice in there. I think it's just, there's that much burn. Is 12% enough to have a burn? Alcohol related? Apparently. It is aged in bourbon barrels. I love it. I, it's, it's pretty fucking good. It's the best one yet. And I gave one a nine already, so. Oh shit, you did. You know what this one is. A 10? Are you gonna, you're not even on the 10 point scale because uh, what no. if something's better than this? Well, 10's just like. Are you gonna give it a 9.5 then? No, no, no. To give you room, no? If you see it on tap somewhere, order it. It's good. Imperial Sweet Stout. 10 is the, you do, don't pass it. Like, you see it, you buy it. Good. Because I'm pretty sure I won't see this one ever again. But Limited run? Most of their tasting room stuff is. Wow. If that was ha! <laughs> if it's good enough, you might see it again. It's pretty fucking good. They make one called Rye on Rye that I've only seen once or twice and recommend buying that one too. I'll give it an eight just to give room for the next ones. And it's definitely the best I've had yet. It's pretty good. It's a sipping beer though. We need like different categories. There's IPA that I don't want to drink. Sipping beer. Sip that one a little too fast. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh man. We still got half a bottle here, so. A little later. 
He says half a bottle, but he chugged the other half, so. Quarter. You have the other half. It's good. It's good. No, I, I sip liquor. I drink beer. It's basically liquor. It's pretty fuck close. <laughs> it's 11.9%. I'm Holy struggling. Shit. I can't drink it as fast as he did. Uh, we had some pretty, pretty high ones last time, didn't we? Yeah. I should have said all the percentages because they well, got up there. Towards the end, you went out and you grabbed a bunch of ones that were like, we were pretty sure they were going to be good beers, but they're all that type of category where it's dark and high alcohol. Well, I mean, Dragon's, Dragon's Milk surprisingly only an 8.9. Really? Yeah, they're they're in the eights, I believe. I was surprised by the Black Fogger and so. Budweiser. That was... Or is, Dra is Dragon's Milk 11? I think it might be. Oh, maybe it was 11. I'm thinking of something else then. The Black Lager was seven something. They were all up there, and I was surprised by the Black Lager because that's Budweiser. I was fucking hammered by the end of last video. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell. Uh, I was definitely feeling it, especially with shit like 11.9%. That was good though. I enjoyed that. Thank you for that. Definitely have the alcohol burn. Yes, yeah, who's back? Back <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> After the 15 minute conversation. <laughs> As we upload the video. Yeah, no shit. Boulevard, well, this is a this is another tasting room, so. Whiskey and Cabernet cask. Imperial stout. Also, what did we find out? Oh, it's 12.5%! You're getting fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> they had a nice six pack. Oh, that had three degrees in it. Had <laughs> a nice six pack, all right. Light pour. They should just call it the light pour. Can you do it? <laughs> Can you do it? Should just call it the fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> Will he do it? Do what? Finish the bottle. <laughs> Finish it. Chill, no. bro. Finish it later. <laughs> Here's to you. It smells about the same as the last one. But it's not. <laughs> You've had this before. You've had you had the other one. Just a couple months ago. I see what you're saying by the uh, slight wine taste. It definitely has a, a very slight wine taste. But whiskey, huh? Let me try again. It's like almost sour. Yep, slight whiskey taste. But it does say whiskey, cabernet. Cabernet is a wine. Yep. Cask. Imperial stone. It's a lot of words for a beer title. Do you remember the first beer of last episode? Iron Maiden. That's the Iron Maiden one. Yeah. It had a long name on it. What was more, the Oatmeal Stout had a longer name. Because, well, I read the entire bottle. <laughs> there was an Oatmeal Stout. Oh, the Sailor Smith. With the, the yeah, the, the foil over the top of it. Which I managed to not get in the bottle, by the way. Expert. This is good. I think it's better than the last one. Oh man, it's heartbreak right there, you you saying that. No, it's... I think it's better than the last one. It's pretty good. It's Her smoother than the last one. Let's bite. 100% alcohol. Dangerous. My second middle name. One of those is Three Bud Lights. <laughs> That's what's crazy. You have to drink Three Bud Lights to equal one bottle of this. Holy shit. That's fucking crazy. I'm in. Here's to ya. So what's your rating then? Better than the last one, and you gave the last one an eight. So, a nine. <laughs> <laughs> My scale is per video, not based off the other ones, by the way. Because if the next one is better than this one, it's probably gonna be a 10. And I guarantee it's not as good as the Pabst Coffee fucking beer that we had last time. Well, that shit. That's not beer. It's hard to beat. That is not beer. Don't say that. This is a beer channel. It's not or this beer. is a beer, beer uh, episode. We're gonna call it a beer. It's made by Pabst, okay? We're gonna call it a beer. I think it's gonna be an eight for me. It's that's what I put it at. No, I put it at a nine. Yeah, 
It's sour. It's definitely not as good as the other one. I guess it but is. it's still pretty good. It's the type of beer that I really like. It's good. It's really good. 12.5%. Any dark beer over 10% that is barrel age is gonna be an eight or higher. Like you can't get lower than that. It's hard to beat. Like that Goose Island I had uh, the other night. That was good. That stuff's amazing. That was good. We need to have that on this channel. You're gonna have to buy a keg. I'm gonna have to buy a keg. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that escalated quickly. I mean, we need to buy a bottle of that. That Goose Island. I think it's Bourbon a, County. Bourbon County. Stout. Stout. It was good. It was really good. I had it on tap. So maybe we'll have to get a keg. I'd pitch on. All right. But I can't pay by the ounce. Buy an half. I oh, can't. Oh, dude. They fucking sold that shit by the ounce. That's a. <laughs> I had to pay $12 for that fucker. I didn't even get drunk off of it. Yeah, a little buzz. A little buzz. We had it before the food. I had a little buzz going. It was cheaper to drink two tank sevens. It was cheaper to drink three Bud Lights. We have this Bud Light. Tall Bud Lights, too. Not the short one that I got the Goose Island in. Savor it. Savor the Goose oh, Island. Oh, it lasted longer than the Bud Light did. <laughs> it was good as fuck, and I savored the shit out of it. Bourbon Barrel Belgian Style Dark Ale. Another tasting room by Boulevard. Also, haha, you can't get this one. <laughs> Unless it's really good, they might make it again. Keep your eyes out. That's what he says. I don't know the facts. So, I only know the facts. Final beer. Final beer. Did you look at the percentage for this one? Yeah. Do you know what it is? The same as the first barrel aged one. 11.9. Yeah. It's kind of got that like. Dark ale. It's got kind of a whiskey color. I don't know. It's weirdly light. It smells good. To the last one. <laughs> Did you just hear that car? I heard it. This is good. Quick rating. <laughs> it it's tastes clean. like dragon's milk. No, the taste is too mild. God, I don't even want to say it. I'll put it at nine. I'll put it with the other one. It's a nine. It's definitely above the Cabernet cask one for me and below the bourbon, but it's good. It's definitely a nine. It's good. I like it. It's just clean. It doesn't have a lasting taste at all. It is clean. I like that. Yeah, smooth, clean, delicious. Your neighbor's gonna chug that one in about two minutes. Why would you drink four loco when you can drink this at a little bit beneath 12% and like eat the same place? The last one was 12.5. The high percentage four locos are 14, but I understand where you're coming from and I would rather drink a delicious beer. Although the price. It tastes so much better, uh, less sugar. It's better for you. I mean, if you're just trying to get fucked up, man. Don't quote me on that. It's probably not better for you. It's probably about the same. Carb your carb, bro. <laughs> it's good. It's Sugar good. Sugar. It is good. I would rather drink that than a four loco. I'll... Nobody's ever rated a four loco a nine out of ten for anything. I'd have a four loco. You're about to. Catch us next time on I'd Have a Four Loco. We try all the flavors. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be here for that one? <laughs> I'm out. Ah! I will not be here for that. For the guy who can't, can't hold him down. <laughs> Dude, I'm not joking. It's like, Woo! it is half a day later and it's still sitting in my stomach. It's not food. We'll let you be here for that one. You don't have to drink them. Do I have to be here for the aftermath? You can be here for as long as you want. You just can do that tonight since... Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. You just came in. This is gonna be rapid fire. You're gonna drink them. Then you're gonna give them a one through ten. You got it? Yep. Good. This one's called Jam Band. Enjoy. That's way too much. That is. Way I too understand much. that now. But enjoy. Go. What do you think? One through ten. Four. Four. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I got this. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Tropical. What do you think? Two. Two. Okay. The first one was four? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
That's a one. <laughs> Gross. Okay. Fair enough. I'm not gonna judge. That one. Also a one. What? Oh. It's basically just water. We'll try the next one. I'm sorry. No, no, don't be sorry. I want your honest opinion. You have any time to think. Two. Okay, <laughs> go. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy. No, that'd be honest here. What? No, you're not being analyzed, nor penalized, nor judged. Four. Okay, okay, okay. Stout. Tasty stout. Tasty stout. <clears throat> Delicious. Three. Okay. Go ahead. Apparently, we're doing one through five. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's rapid fire. It's fine. We can do the shortened scale. It's fine. Do it. Let's go. You also start with the four loco. So, can you all these are based thing? off four loco as the starter. I'm not judging. I'm just saying. He is going off the five point scale. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Enjoy this one. Five. That's, that's good. Good. Glad you chose the top of your scale. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to throw a six out there. <laughs> you get to chug your favorite at the end. <laughs> How's that? That's a five. This one's Belgian. <laughs> How do you feel about Belgians? <laughs> five? Five. Cool. Which one's your favorite? I don't know. You were just pouring. pouring. It is rapid fire. I love it. This is fantastic. I went one. for the Bud Light of the Boulevard. This one he gave a one. Said it didn't taste like anything. Seriously. Try it again. Try it again. Let's see what you think. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's a one. That's a one? Or you like the one before or after the one? <laughs> Fucking Christ. What do you want? Do you want it stout? Do you want <laughs> sweet? Or what? Because this is crazy. Which one of these do you want to chug? And by chug, I mean just finish, because all of these are like this level. There's not much in there. We did a whole video with them. And you know how I pour. That was a good one. Does it, if you don't pick one to drink, does a good one. We'll see you drink that one. Are uh, you not picking out one we're doing it together? Oh, we could do that. I will do this one. Are you fine with that? Because this is the last one of those. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that one. Cool. What about this one? There's one more. There's one more. But we're good. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Here's to you. There was a lot more left in that than I thought, and I enjoyed it. Every cent. Is this the one I broke your heart on? No. No, no, no. Don't worry about it. You broke my heart on... You said that one was a three. Uh, yeah. The one you chugged. <laughs> These are Iowa beers. Iowa beers. They're apparently the tops. How do you feel drinking all these beers? How do you feel drinking all KC beers in celebration of they are. City winning? They are. Other than these two, they're all KC beers. The Boulevards. From KC, the they don't taste bad. Super Bowl champions. They're good though, right? Yeah, they are good. I do like. Them. Great. If you found this entertaining, give me a like. If you think anything I do is entertaining, go ahead and subscribe. We'll catch you next time. And I don't know how long to fucking end. This. Should we chug? Let's chug these. They wait, you too. Let's chug these. Nate throws his hat at the camera for him. Beat him to it. Do it. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. What, what'd you throw it's all good. Nothing happens. Would you put a hole in my wall? Where? I don't see it. No, I did not put a hole in your wall. Oh, well, good. We're all good then. Who the fuck did you throw my hat at? My TV? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It didn't, well, hey. I didn't break it. I don't care about my TV. I'm just gonna leave that going. It should be fine. 
that's not that's not how this ends. I have to say the spiel. I will do it. Oh Jesus Christ. We do the spiel. Damn it. And then we Video ends up. right there. No! Don't watch anything else. No! If you like this video, go ahead and give me a like. That's not that's not how that goes. Cheese is life. Sorry, where were, where were we at? If you found this entertaining, give me a like. If you think any of the ideas is entertaining, go ahead and subscribe. And we'll catch you next time. I'm not gonna throw this because that shit is glass behind there and that will break. I wish you could see how gap <laughs> it is what is holding the camera right now. Uh, I did I did try to punch Nate the last the last time. Oh you gonna... <laughs> Okay. We'll clip that in.